Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got a plane to look at, and this is the XK-A600 Beaver Cub, a DHC2, I suppose it's full title. Been out quite a long time, and when this came out, this was quite a revolution in what it did. It was, it does 6G stabilisation, but you can also fly 3D with the flick of a switch. And at that point, there wasn't really that much out. But now there's quite a few things like this out. Well, this is four channel. So this is the perfect starter plane to get you into four channel setup. And because it's so small, it's very, very easy to fly in a small area. It's also got enough power to get you out of trouble if you need it. And it can fly in a little bit of wind. You're going to see the video at the end of this. I think it was in four or five miles an hour. And it seemed absolutely fine the day I flew it in the wind. Obviously, if you fly it with no wind, it's absolutely amazing. But... It really is nice. Very, very light plane made of EPP foam. So as you can see at the back, you have a servo in each wing for your airlines. And then in the back, you've got one for your elevator. And then, of course, you've got one for your rudder control. It has a very small brushless motor and it runs on a 2S. Show you the battery. It runs on a... 2S 300 milliamp hour battery, so it's a very small battery. Battery just goes in the bottom here, doesn't take long to charge, which is another bonus of this. And the only thing that can be a bit fiddly is getting your wires in and out, and then this cover goes on. I'm going to leave the battery out for a minute because I'm going to start it up in a minute, sure you're powered up. This is the controller it comes with, so you can buy this in mode 1 or mode 2. It's actually not that bad. When I got it, there was a lot of sticking in the things in the Pots, so I had to really just work and work and work them and it doesn't seem too bad now it runs on four AA batteries in the back it has a display on the front if you can see the display on the front so it'll show you what your throttle's doing if you look it's got some graphics of the throttle moving and if I move the control surfaces you can see them lighting up so it's not a bad controller but it's not the most accurate to fly it on, I don't think. But it's a good shape in your hand. And because it's a plane, if this was a drone or a helicopter, I wouldn't want to be flying with this really. But because it's a plane, it's not that bad at all. And you can fly it nicely with it. And like I say, it's a nice size in your hand. And it's a good bit of weight, probably because of the batteries. But it does feel nice in your hand, actually. So that's the controller. So I don't fly that with this because I fly it with a jumper T16. So this is Fataba SFHSS protocol which is on the jumpers. In fact all the jumpers. This is not just working on the T16, this will work on anyone. So all you have to do is if you go into your model, let me go in and show you what I did. If you go into your model setup Hit the right button, I don't want it. Go into your model setup. And this is equivalent to, to the T12, work exactly the same way as this one as well. And this is because it's obviously the protocol for OpenTX. Change that to SFHSS. When you build this together under the wing, you're going to see the receiver section. On the side of that, the little button, and in the manual, I think calls it code lock, press that button in, plug your battery in, it puts it into bind mode, it'll take bind on your controller, you're there. The only other thing you're going to have to do on this is, let's come out of that, so the only other thing you're going to have to do is go into, you, I put 15% on the airlines and elevator because it's roughly what this had before, you don't need it on, as I'll show you in a minute, because I don't really fly it in the stabilised mode that often. And then into here you need to create channel 5, so you need to create a switch, which is dead simple to do. So if I go down to, I'll show you how to do a switch, if we go to channel 7, because there's nothing on there, all I, all I would do is click that button there, highlight it, and flick any switch I wanted. So SH will become a channel 7 switch. Only thing you have to do, return out of there, and you can see now I've got channel 7 on a switch. There's no channel 7 on this plane, so I know that. So channel 5 is the one you need to use. I put it on this switch here, and that's going to turn me, change me from 6G to 3D mode. Okay, so let's just put the battery in. I'm 
like a lovely connector on the bottom of this. There you go. So, as you can see, it just bounced straight away to the jumper. So this obviously has stabilisation. So in this mode, in fact, you have to start the small first to make the stabilisation kick in. So there you go. So you can see I am stabilised. It's got stabilisation on. So if I point the nose down, the elevator is going to come up. If I point the nose up, the elevator will put itself in a down position. If I drop the wings to one side, you'll see the air launch come up and the same on the other side. And then on my switch here, when I flick this switch, if you see everything return to normal, that's taking it, that's put it into, that's now taking it into 3G mode. So now I've got the stabilization is still, is still on, but not as, not as much. And that's a simple matter of setting that switch up. So the biggest thing about this is, the best thing about this, let me just take that out there, stop the servo growling their head off. So the best thing about this is the ease of it is to fly and the fact that you can actually crash it and it doesn't seem to bother it in the flying fist. You can hard land this thing. So I would say this is ideal to learn to get your manoeuvres, to learn how to turn, to use your rudder with your air lawns, how to climb, how to get throttle management. But it's probably not the best plane to learn on to land because even if you land on anything with these little tiny wheels here, it's not the best even to try and land on tarmac. But perfect for belly landing and perfect to get into learning your controls before you want to step up to the next level, which would probably be a non stabilized plane with just straightforward four channel. But yeah, wonderful plane for the money. It comes in around £62. You can get it from various places. If you buy it on eBay, it tends to be a bit more. But worth the money all day long. I highly recommend this. And I'm going to leave you with a quick bit of flight footage, a minute and a half, something like that. I'll be flying it down at the local cricket club so you can get the general idea. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.